To the Governor of the U.S. Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, we are anonymous. We would like to ask you, are you happy with what you have allowed the CNMI to become? The entire Commonwealth is in a shambles as we face unprecedented crises in energy, healthcare, the retirement fund, and education. You have declared states of emergency for CUC, CHC, and the retirement fund, even though those three areas reached their critical states under your administration and as a result of your mass mismanagement of our Commonwealth. On top of that, our government is rife with corruption, and when the media tries to cover that corruption, they are manhandled by the police. By allowing all of this to happen, you are a disgrace to the governorship and to the Commonwealth. Any true public servant would put their political careers aside and focus on the city streets of his own country. So far, you have done nothing worth value about these crises that we face. Instead of staying in the Commonwealth and working with the people on solutions to the problems that you created, you simply declare states of emergency and then chose to repeatedly go on off-island junkie trips, leaving behind all the problems of the CNMI to enjoy a life of luxury elsewhere. You have abandoned the people of this Commonwealth. Stop and listen to the people whom you promised to serve, the people who believed in you enough to vote you in for a second term. You swore an oath to uphold and defend the covenant and the constitutions and laws of the CNMI and United States, but we have yet to see you uphold that oath. You promised us better times when you were first elected into office, but instead you gave us, and are continuing to give us, bitter times. If there is any bit of humanity still left in you, if you haven't completely sold out to private corporate interests, if you truly love these islands, you must step down from office immediately. Re. The people. Demand it. You, Governor Fidel, are a failure to the CNMI and to America. To the CNMI legislature. Re. The people of the CNMI have repeatedly called for you to impeach Governor Fidel at the earliest possible time. Despite this, you have chosen instead to drag the process out for as long as you possibly can. The exact opposite of what we have repeatedly stated we want to see from you. Now, the most hated governor in CNMI history is going to be representing us at the Republican National Convention, and make no mistake about it. He will embarrass us all and make it even more difficult for our delegate to US Congress to get anything done. This is your fault, for dragging the impeachment process out for so long. Listen to these words, CNMI legislature, impeach Fitiel post haste, or you will be unemployed come the 6th of November. We are watching you closely and we will pay special attention to how you vote on the impeachment. Anyone who votes against impeachment will not see another term in the CNMI legislature. You can take that to the bank. By delaying the impeachment process, you are in fact building an army, an army of angry CNMI residents that will no longer allow the government to get away with everything that it's been getting away with all these years. It is only a matter of time before the people of the CNMI turn the tables and focus their revolution on finally being free from the corruption of the CNMI government, and we will fight to be free, for we have finally reached the tipping point. One can only take so much abuse laying down. The people of the CNMI are slowly but surely waking up from our long slumber, and we are beginning to rise up and declare that enough is enough. You can either side with the people of the CNMI, or you can side with the corrupt government that we oppose. It's your choice. But choose wisely, because one choice will leave you without a job in the very near future. To the people of the CNMI, the time has come to stand up and fight against this corrupt government by rising up and demanding that our legislators impeach Governor Fitiel. There is simply no more time to waste. Every second that we allow to go by in which the legislature has not yet impeached the governor is another second that we allow the worst governor in CNMI history to continue to wreak havoc upon our islands. After everything we've been through in these past six years, ask yourselves, can we really afford to go on like this? How much more abuse are we willing to tolerate? Will we just allow this government to walk all over us for the rest of our lives? Or will we strive to be free from this corrupt government? Will we take action? 
before it's too late. This is a public call to action for the people of the CNMI. Take a stand on Monday, the 27th of August, 2012, by assembling outside the CNMI legislature at 9 a.m. Bring your signs and your voices so we can make our discontent publicly known to all of our legislators, for all the world to see. Perhaps if the legislators see us all standing outside their building, they will be convinced to carry out the impeachment as soon as possible and we can finally rid ourselves of this cancer to the CNMI known as Benigno Repeki Fitio. We must take this government back and make it once again a government of the people, by the people, and for the people, power to the people. We are anonymous. We are you. You are us. We do not forgive corruption. We do not forget deceit. CNMI government, expect us.